Hi, my name is Michael and I am graphic and video content creator in Blaster Light Games. Today I will show you how to play Impola, magnetic game. The purpose of the game is to earn the maximum number of points by connecting your dice. The game is complete. At the moment you form a cube with a three dice on each side and a core dice located in the center of the cube. Mm -hmm. Each player has their own set of dice. There are 13 basic dice and additional action dice. At each moment of the game a player has a 6 action dice while the other player has another set of 6 before the game begins. It's worth taking a closer look at the action dice and becoming familiar with their functions. Only one side of a dice allows for it to join with the wall of another dice in a cube. This wall is the only wall with visible projections and a magnet that attracts another dice, while the projections are designed to stable the location of the dice in the cube. The other five walls of the dice do not attract other dice, but they can be attracted by a magnet of another dice. Please be careful to always join a dice using its wall with these projections, with another dice wall that does not have these projections. This is crucial for the initial gameplays, thus it is recommended to practice this several times. Mm -hmm. Another dice, very important for the game, is the central dice. This forms the core of the game. It is easily recognizable from the other cubes, as it the only dice that has projections and magnets on each of its sides. The core can have cubes attached to it only by the walls of cubes without projections from time to time, maybe attracted by a cube we are playing with by the wall with the magnet, but please remember that only a cube side without a magnet can be attached to the core. When playing, always look for two attraction points for a new dice. This makes the cube more stable. However, an experienced player may consider the above aspect due to a principle that a game is lost in case the cube collapses in the hands of its holder. Each set has an equal number of dice with one half having north polarity and the other having south polarity. When playing you should easily feel which dice forms a more stable arrangement with other dice. Sometimes during a game there occurs such a concentration of polarity that it's only possible to add a dice that is attracted to the others. The goal is the same as in the classic tic-tac-toe. You get the point if the three horizontal, vertical or diagonal dices on each surface will be of your symbol. So the edge dice can, if strategically placed, give you two points. The angular ones can even give you out three if you are a mastermind. Points are counted at the end of the game and each line give you one point. However, remember that there are figures that change the counter, for example cut, or block the cutdown of points on a given wall, for example bomb. The player who has less points after dice is fully built loses the game. Easy mode is like classical tic-tac-toe game but on transparent dice, and with normal mode we play with action figures. It's time to start the game. Start by choosing the action dice. Remember, you can use only three action dice per game. The players draw action dice so that each player has a different set of dice. The first player chooses a rocket. Rocket can only be placed in the center of wall on the side of a cube. The rocket has an effect on all wall and doubles the wall points for both players. The second player rejects his rocket and draws a different dice, for example, the cat. The cut can be used only on the corners of a cube. The cut means that points are gained from an arrangement of two dice positions perpendicularly. The first player rejects his cat and chooses the joker. The joker is a dice that can replace any other action's dice in a game. However, when the joker is drawn, its function has to be decided immediately upon its begging drawn. In this case, it becomes another cut. The second player rejects the cut and chooses the ghost. The ghost is a figure that can only be used in the middle of an edge of a formed cube. This means that points are gained from an arrangement with two of the opponent's dice positions perpendicularly. The first player rejects the ghost and chooses the bomb. 
The bomb is another dice that can only be used in the center of a wall. If applied, the points on the affected wall are not counted for either player. The second player rejects his bomb and chooses the horse. The horse can only be used on the corners of a formed cube. The horse allows you to win points by joining your cubes at a 19 degree angle. Now it's really time to start the game. The game is started by the player who drew the action die last. This is one of the principles for joining dice with the core. Join the dice with the core using a wall with a circle. Remember though that all the symbols on a dice have to be easily visible, therefore please do not join dice leaving a wall without a symbol on the outside. Any such arrangement will not allow us to form the game. At this stage of the game we already have to imagine the arrangement of the finished cube. and circles as above join the dice with the core using its wall with a cross. Crosses two points with magnets are visible. So please remember to join the dice in the correct manner, a magnet always has to be joined with a wall. Crosses. A cross is positioned to gain the opportunity of winning points in following movement in two directions. What do circles do? Circle takes the initiative on the wall with an arrangement similar to that of crosses. The player opt to build the potential on the cube's wall, they don't block each other. In this arrangement, however, crosses gain an advantage by being one dice ahead of circles. The first action dice. Crosses use the cut when used on the edge, it immediately wins 4 points. Circles doesn't take it lying down, for in a similar way uses his joker which acts as a cat and also scores 4 points. Cross applies the first block by closing of the opponent's cut, another two points would be hard to catch up. It can easily be seen that crosses have a plan. And here comes a brilliant move. A rocket is placed with an exit towards two fields and causes the simultaneous blocking of the internal lines. That's another point for both players. This certainly brings a lot of emotion into the game. Somehow Crosses finds a solution and scores double points in this arrangement by using its ghost. This is excellent use of this action dice.
and here it's come the horse goes into the last place with double points of the cube. What a beautiful game. It's obvious it's a high level game. And there is bomb from circles. Crosses wins another point by joining the dice with the horse. Circus scores another point diagonally on another wall. Let me remind you that the cut placed diagonally is a just regular dice, thus the points was gained here by joining three dice in a line. The advantage that crosses has allows them to act by blocking, but are they going to this? Crosses need some time to think. There is another point score in the middle of wall with potential for more points. Circles also respond with a point gain in a similar way, it scores on the middle line. Cross blocks, it seems to be serious obstacle. There could be another two points to be scored by circles which would allow them to tie. Circles blocks with a simultaneous exit towards the diagonal line. What can't crosses do? Circles blocks the game seems to be drifting toward an end. Again points for a crosses. A block bar circles this is their last move. The last moves are usually a formality. Crosses scores points on the cube's edge blocking circles. And circles blocks and manage to score one more point at the end of the game. 
Now I hope everything is clear about Pola. So now, let's play the game. <laughs> 